Hey guys, it's your pap boy. You know, just waking up every day, trying to improve the game experience for us. That's it, man. If, if, if you didn't hear, I'm now doing this. I'm just now doing this full time. Guys, we finally get to be on a much more regular schedule now uh, with weekly uploads every week. Can't believe it, man. Finally, I'm so, oh, I'm so ready. So let, let's, let's do it. We got... What do we got right now? Trade sliders. That's right. We're ready to go for those. I got the whole menu. They've been tested on both current and next gen. I'm so happy that the, you know, like the My League, My GM, My NBA uh, settings, they've been so transferable uh, between the gens. Because now, you know, this way we just got one set, gives the same great results for everybody. Um, first of all, trade logic. Of course, we want that on. Right, and then of course we want the trade deadline on just like in real life that's easy okay but here we go now we got the recently signed recently traded uh rookie signing restrictions and then also the stefan rule they're all more complicated in real life it's not so simple as just like turning them on or off you know there's different situations and stuff but that doesn't really matter for us for the purposes of the game i like to have them on because they do help to make things more realistic they also help to keep some cheese out of the game or just like the possibility of people cheesing which i like to just rule that stuff out you know same reason we we want to have this trade override off um the financial trade stuff we want it on for realism same thing uh, CPU trades, CPU to CPU trades, both of those on. So just realism there. Now, the trade approval, I like to leave it off just for like absolute realism, I guess you would call it. But, you know, if you want to turn it on just in case two CPU teams make a trade or they want to make a trade that just makes no sense at all, that, that you know, that's fine. That's not bad. It's not like it's going to give you some competitive advantage if you do it or something. So kind of up to you to decide how you want to do that. Now, the trade frequency, I did a lot of rounds of testing on this. And of course, compare the results to real life, right? And to that end, we're going to want to put this at 52. Um, the previously traded draft picks, this is something you can only set at the start. Now, of course, we want to make sure that all the teams have all the draft picks that they should have based on all the trades that have already happened in real life the team style player fame overall rating the the main thing is the main thing it's the overall rating that's what teams care about the most and that's what makes it work the best in the game too so these are all good things we're going to want to put this at let's see we got 10 and 1 and that's going to put the rating importance at 89 that's great okay now discounts and premiums pretty straightforward first we got the euro stash discount doesn't come into play much but i did test it a lot we got 74 for that and then new player signing premium this really shouldn't be a big factor in trade value and it really isn't so that's why we're going to have it at 15. now we're just testing and matching the results with real life here so um what's next oh god okay all right here it is the the, the untouchables premium slider you may have seen me tweet about this a few days ago but i have gone round and round with this thing i i, I just want to make it you know like real life where you know of course the teams are going to hold on to those guys they're they're superstars they're going to hold on to them for dear life naturally but you know at the same time almost everybody has a price uh, that, that's just the way it works so with this slider, the, the bottom line is just, just about getting the right amount of wiggle room in there and, you know, making sure the offers um, and what the CPU teams expect in return is realistic, okay? And, and to accomplish everything we just talked about, the best setting for this is going to be 40. And trust me, you're going to see specific examples and some stuff that you don't want to see that I didn't want to see we'll get into it but i'm currently untangling a, a simply retarded phenomenon and and it gets worse with the superstars and whatever let's not get sidetracked just just know that there's gonna be a sequel to this video you'll see what i'm talking about let's continue on where were we we got uh age discounts now the basic idea here 
you know, so for contending teams, they're going to care more about, you know, what can you do for me right now, right? When they're, when they're looking to trade versus rebuilding teams who tend to look for younger assets to build for the future. Just makes sense. So these should be at 75 for contending, uh, 77 for buying teams, 82 for selling, and 84 for rebuilding teams. So you see we had to bring them down from the default because all the teams, just the game in general, was just putting too much value on youth in the trade market. But now it's good with those numbers. So let's move on. We got player type discounts. These are just weird. They, 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 they got them all at 100 to start. So first of all, that doesn't make any sense, but whatever. They, they, that's not important. The, the thing you need to know is the game already has like a natural bias against bigs. Um, in terms of trade value okay and second thing to know is these sliders are pretty damn sensitive right so they're gonna look weird regardless but I, I, I don't care about that I, I'm just testing for results okay and the best results come when you put them like this we're gonna leave the all around and the two-way at a hundred okay then we're gonna put just the offensive and the outside down one to 99 and then put all the other ones at 98. I know, you wouldn't expect it to make sense and for it to work, but it does and that's all that matters. All right, so let's just move on. We got draft pick stuff, pretty simple concepts here. Teams that are contending right now, they're not gonna value draft picks as much as teams that are not. Obviously, I don't need to explain that to you. So here's the numbers. So we got contending at 90 buying at 93 so just a little higher then we're jumping up selling teams at 109 and rebuilding at 112 all right so next we got pick depreciation all this is is you know the farther out a draft pick is into the future the less valuable it is um, we got 91 83 72 and 64 and again that's just from testing them and seeing the results over and over again it's what i do now let's get to the the most convoluted setting in the entire game if you ask me it's the lineup impact versus net value god they make it so hard all it is so non-contenders they care mostly about getting valuable assets right just like real life that's their primary concern even if it's not the best thing for their lineup in the short term Right, what do they care they ain't going anywhere right now anyway right and then the other side of that naturally teams that are contending right now of course they're also going to want to get as much value as possible but they're going to give more consideration to you know how is acquiring this player going to impact our lineup this season right now so to get that ratio right for every team and every phase here's how we want the numbers we want to have contending teams at 37 um, and then the net value for the buying team is going to be at 44 selling we got 75 so it jumps up quite a bit and then rebuilding to 78 okay now there's one more trade setting under the difficulty category it's the trade negotiation difficulty so they got it at 50 for the default it's just too easy at that setting All right, and that really takes away from the fun of negotiating and and having to strategize I, I, we love all that stuff so we're going to want to put this up and I find the results are the best with it at 69. That's just right. It's not too hard, but it makes this part of the game more competitive and it makes the offers you get more realistic. Anyway, get in here, guys. Plug these settings in. Uh, they will be available for download and as a Google Doc very soon, by the way. But, you know, at the same time, I like to reward you guys, the viewers. Right, if you guys who are watching the videos and you're obviously watching it till the very end, I appreciate you. I, I want to give you guys the, the very first crack at the new stuff. So that's why I do that. But make sure you keep an eye on the community tab on my channel. That's where I'm going to be posting the download details and how to access the Google Doc and everything about that. All right, and pop that like button if you enjoyed, if you found this useful. Definitely look out for part two coming up next. Uh, you want to subscribe if you're not already. Hit your notifications on. All right. And until next time, this has been 2K with the pop boy.